We are so excited that you are back with us for another episode of Meet My Mississippi Authors and Artists on the Hill Country Network. I'm telling you, every week, you know you are in for a treat, so you cannot miss one episode. Today, we have another treat with us. We have Willie Bob Gates from... Tupelo, uh, I, Tupelo Mississippi now. You, you should live in Shannon. Okay. I live in Tupelo now. Okay, very good. Now tell us where you grew up, where you went to high school, where you went to, uh, yeah, where you went to junior high, all of that first, all of the growing up years. And Mostly in Shannon. Mm -hmm. um, went to Shannon uh, uh, Middle School okay. back in the 60s. Okay. Uh, and um, went to Shannon High school in the uh, 70s. Okay. And uh, my route to where I am now was a kind of a difficult route. Okay. Because uh, I did some un what you call it, un you know, things that wouldn't not normal. Okay. I uh, quit school, mm -hmm. went back, got my GED. Okay. And then I started to want to write. Okay. So I had to learn how to write. Okay. And then after I learned how to do that, I had to get somebody to help me, you know, through the editing part. And right. All so it has been a long journey. Okay. And uh, uh, but uh, what what uh, the God has allowed me to accomplish, though. Is something great. Okay. So yes. Uh, now that's what we're gonna get uh, talk about because that's why I say this is a treat because you do not see too many science fiction writers, African American science fiction writers, number one, and it, most of the people that I know write like novels and or poetry or sing or something like that. But this is a science fiction novel, and I told you that when it first got published, we're gonna go back to the road of how you got published. Published. And when I first did my first book, you were telling me the story. I got this book. I got this book. And it was just a rounding thing of trying to get hooked up with the right person to get you published. Mm -hmm. But when it was published, of course, we just going to buy the book because, okay, you the church member, you the friend. <laughs> I'm like, okay, of course. And that's what everybody does. It's just like, we're just going to buy the book because we're going to support. But I mean, really, truly, what? <laughs> Honey, I read this book. We were like, my, my, my um, husband bought one and I bought one because I want him to be reading it. I don't be trying to get my book while I'm reading yeah. it. So we got the book. And I'm telling you, I was like, okay, but what about this? Uh, this is good. <laughs> this is an excellent book, and this is for anybody. And even the teenagers love it. One of the members of our church, North Green Street Church of Christ, was asking at North Green. Well, you, you're at another congregation, too, but yeah. the Church of Christ. But anyway, yeah. he was saying, okay, when is the next book coming out? <laughs> now, when somebody asking you about that, and this is a teenager, he, well, he was asking you. Yeah. We, were, we were just surrounding you, mm -hmm. saying, come on now. You can't leave us hanging. You got to read the book. Okay, we're going to get to the to what the book is all about. But first, let's get to publishing. Uh, Nicole Mangrum, yeah, in West Point, Mississippi, yes. Liberations Publishing. Mm -hmm. She did an excellent job on getting this book cover together. Yes. yes, got you going with W. B. Gates. That's what he goes by, W. Yes. B. Gates. And just the just the layout of what this book is appealing. And, and whenever you get a book, you want something that's going to catch the eye in a bookstore or somewhere, and people going to say, "Okay, what's that all about?" And, that, and, and 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 the person that did this. Yeah, his we're going to get to that. His name is Shea Harris. Shea Harris, and he lives in he Fulton, lives in Fulton right? right now. Right, mm -hmm. Shea Harris. And y'all need to look him up on Facebook mm -hmm. because this young man, he has some amazing, amazing illustrations. I mean, this is just one on the front of this book, yeah. but he has tons of illustrations mm -hmm. and you will not believe. Mm -hmm. He needs to come out with his own comic series or he whatever. He now, how did you get in contact with him or how did that come about that that he uh, did your character? Well, I wrote the story. Okay. And I told him one day at church. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in Boom Boom. Okay. And I told him, uh, say, I need you to draw me a character. Okay. He said, okay, what can? I described it to him. Okay. I told him how I wanted the face. Okay. I told him how big I wanted. Okay. How muscular I wanted. Okay. Down to the fingers, okay. the slanted eye, okay. the clear eye, the whole thing. And he did it. And he did it. Like magic. 
pencil. And I know it's amazing what artists can do. I'm, I'm, I need to have him on the show too, so he can talk about his artistry. Well, he, he's good. He he's is. Very, he is very, good. Very, very now good. tell us how the character came about, and and how that the concept of you writing the book came about, and then tell us the story in this book and the places that's in this book because you get pulled in because you know these places that's happening, and it's just like okay, it's just like you're in the middle of it, and then at the end it's like boom. What happened? Because we like, st <laughs> come on now. You cannot leave us hanging. I'm telling you, y'all, it's that good. It's that good. Now I tell us. That. Tell us you how know, it came. You want to, first thing, first, I want, when I write something like that, I want to write it as realistic as I possibly can. And the, the character, he's, I just got the, what you consider the typical, uh, black teenage boy. Mm -hmm. He was an underachiever. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't really, you know, he, he, he felt that since he was mediocre, everything was just fine. Mm -hmm. And he was not one that would push himself too hard or try too hard. He was just going through the motion. Mm -hmm. And that's the character that I chose to start off with. Okay. Someone that was like that mm -hmm. and to build up on when he's when he come in contact with this uh, rock mm -hmm. that fell out of space, okay. how he slowly over a period of time changed his life to where he is now. Mm -hmm. Because he started out uh, in a very a negative way. Mm -hmm. But he, through the story, he gets more powerful and he understands more about who he is. Mm -hmm. But uh, through the... Uh, uh, the books that are hopefully I will write after that. Oh yeah, he gonna have the sequels, believe me, we've already discussed it, number two and three, and I told him how the book covers need to go. You need to have the same character on the front, the same look, the same everything, except for one of them need to be red, the next cover need to be green. I already got your promotional stuff going now, so do whatever. Number two, okay, but anyway, so what what happens in this story? Name us some of the places that are named in the story, and places what? Go. Well, I, I, this place here, uh, I you know I, I deal with with uh, West Point. Mm -hmm. I deal with the coast. Right. Uh, I deal with. Uh, just, I try to make it where. And, and Memphis and is going to Memphis. Memphis <laughs> um, Tupelo. Uh -huh. Tupelo uh, is yeah. included yeah. in it. So I like to try to deal with spots that. And you did it beautifully know. because it just sucks you in. Like, okay, it's like we're there. It takes you almost, because you put it in places, it takes you out of the science fiction realm. Yeah. It's like this is for real. Well, I, mean, I try to, I try to, that's the whole idea. Yes. To me, the writing is. Yes. I, I, uh, I, uh, Nicole asked me one time about writing. I said, I write like. I'm talking to you now. Mm -hmm. I see my character just like I'm yes, looking at you. Yes, yes. I see my character. And, and you I make look, us see that too. I just write down <laughs> what my character see and wherever they oh go. Oh my goodness. You just go with, go with them. I go with them and oh tell, my them, tell you what they're doing. Let me tell you, you have done that masterfully. You have done it masterfully. Because I'm telling you, I got sucked into the book when I'm like, and I have read a zillion books in my life. I'm telling you, I was finna tell you, uh, okay, what about, you know, uh, you know how I am, because you laugh at me all the time. I'm like, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I was just reading the book, and I'm like, Lord, let's see what, what's in this book. Baby, when both of us got through with it, my husband and I, we were like, that book is good. It was like we were shocked that it was good. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You did that. You I did mean, that. I, you know, it's, it's, I, and another thing is. It's not just good, y'all. This is some excellent writing, I'm telling you. I try, to, I try my best to, if I could be an uh, uh, inspiration mm -hmm. to any mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. that want to try something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and you I, have and, been. And, and, and that's what I look at it also. I want to try to inspire other people to to, to achieve things, mm -hmm. hopefully at a, a little bit earlier age right. than, I, than I did, but, right. you know, and to and step out. Anybody and, and try. can it, absolutely, because like he's saying, he dropped out of school, and our minister who has a PhD. Uh, 
he dropped out of school, went back to school, and then got a master's and a PhD and yeah. all that stuff. You cannot let life get yeah. you down. Just yeah. get up more times than you get down. Yes. And yes. that's where everything is going to take care of itself. Yes. You know, and put God first in almost in everything that you do. Mm -hmm. Number one, and like I said, this is a masterfully done book. We're waiting for the sequel, and all, I mean, you're going to have to hurry up, uh, Willie Bob, uh, uh, W.B. Uh, Gates. I call uh, him Willie Bob because I've known him forever. Hopefully. Um, maybe September, when? October. September, October, I have it in print. <laughs> okay, well, I we'll got, wait. It's already, it's already, the uh, only thing I got to do is the, it's a few other things, but I have it. Uh, the sequel to that. Okay. Uh, I have the and 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 uh, like I told you, I'm already thinking about the third installment. Already. Good, good. So good. I like I already to told him, we're gonna have a red cover and a green <laughs> cover, and we we going with this thing. It's gonna be a series like John Grisham's book. We're gonna have a series of things. But this is a really great book, and. Uh, like, how did you get in contact with Nicole at first? Because I was trying to get you in contact with somebody else at first that I was dealing with, and that kind of didn't work out. You got with Nicole, and this beautiful co collaboration came uh, about. Uh, I saw her at uh, Flea Market. Okay, yeah, me too. That's where I met her the I, first time. At Flea Market. She was up okay. at Flea Market. Okay. I went back, okay. and I got a card. Okay. And then I thought about it a while, and okay. I called her. And uh, we set up things from there, and, mm -hmm. and uh, we talked, and then uh, uh, I, uh, Sister Harris is the one that edited it first. Yes, yes. And I, uh, and I, have, I tell I people to, she can do anything. I have to give her her, <laughs> yeah. her kudos. Yes. She did a very great job of editing it for mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. And because I asked her one day, I said, Sister Harris, I, I said, I need an editor. She said, Sister I, Laquita I Harris <laughs> at North Green Street <laughs> Church of Christ. And she said, I can edit it. I said, well, can you edit my book? Laquita yeah. can do everything, and she hates for me to say it. I'm giving a shout out right here. Laquita Harris, she says, Patricia, stop telling people that. It's true. Is it? Is it not true? true. Willa, but can, she mean, can do anything you ask her to do. I would tell her and I would tell anyone. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for her, okay. I would never got it in print. Right. Because she edited it for me, mm -hmm. and she helped me out. And, right. You know, like you have, and other people mm -hmm. have been a, a source of encouragement mm -hmm. on that. Yeah. And uh, like I said, me and Nicole met, and mm -hmm. we finally got, you know, got connected on it. And, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, after I got that there uh, in my hand, mm -hmm. I said, you know, it kind of what was like the a, feeling? What was the feeling? Because like I want the other authors and writers to know what their feelings like. Because there's so many who have the idea in their head. You need to go through with it and do it. And then you need to contact Nicole Mangrum in West Point, Mississippi yes. at Liberation Publishing. Yes. Because she will do it, honey. And yes. I mean beautifully yes. do it for it's you. It's the feeling of a, of a accomplishment. Yes. But you can't lay down on right. it. Right, yeah. Because if you want to continue it. And my whole thing is when I leave this world, just like what you have done mm -hmm, with your mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with your literature, when I leave this world, I want something left behind mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to show people that I was here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's, that's and to so always. and to show the heart of who you are and what you liked and, and what you were about yes. and that comes into your writing yes. even though it's science fiction yes. it comes into the creative mind of yes. who you are yes. and yes. then when you go to the bio on the back people will look at a book a book is going to be there for hundreds of years yes. and somebody and you always have a new audience yes. that's what I tell people you never run out of an audience because they're new and better there are more people every day you yes. know yes. and you get better in writing or whatever now you want to say uh, Shannon School. They had you. Did they? They had this uh, book in the library yes, or whatever. Yes. Yeah. So I, I, you know, and you're going to touch. I left some copies there. Okay. Uh, I left some copies at the uh, junior high mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. at the uh, uh, also at the high school. And see, that's going to motivate. Uh, other other writers. I, I hope there so. are not a lot of African American male writers that I know in my circle. You know what I yes. mean? Especially uh, modern writers right now. And mm -hmm. this is a wonderful book, and it's for all ages. I'm yes. telling you, if they're five, if they if they can read, I'm telling. you, There's nothing bad in there that they curse words and stuff, bad uh, stuff in there. That uh, it's none of that. No. You don't even have to worry about what they're reading. Just give them the book. If you hadn't read it first, <laughs> just let them start reading it. Anybody can read this book Liquid and love it. 
said, her, if her son loves it. What? That's the truth. Because he is all about basketball. He ain't about nothing else but basketball. If he loved it, we had you hemmed up in a corner, right? Yeah. We're like, come on now. Come on with it. Well, come on now. You know, I, 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 and I owe a, a great deal to you and your husband. Y'all, you two have really and truly, you know, uh, have been motivating me and to encourage me to go on like this. when I had the second book mm -hmm, in mind, mm -hmm. you all told you, you need to go and write. <laughs> right. You need to go and write. So I said, okay, I'm going to write. Mm -hmm. And my writing style is almost like I had to push myself in a corner. Right. And then you do. I go and uh, a 200 page, well, 250 page you know, Once you get going, I it's gone. It yeah. You just had to start it. See, that's crazy. That's, ama that's amazing. I can do it in the, I can do it by That is days. amazing. So, because once we got down. you started doing it, yes. you came back in a little while and said, okay, I'm finished. I was like, what? <laughs> you, you are absolutely right. Yes. But see, that's how God works and that's how things work out in the connections. That's why I try to, to tell people, network. Get to know other authors, get to know other people. And Nicole has a little uh, symposium thing that has authors and artists, mm -hmm. uh, authors, uh, to introduce them to each other mm -hmm. and to the community. I saw this cover and I said, shoot. She gonna have to do my next book it's because I want her to to do my publish my book and make it look like that. Yeah. And so that's how um, she did meet my Mississippi. Okay. So she is the one because I sent her a little raggedy something the way I wanted to cover. Dog. It was like just a one magnolia and. It, I don't know how to do it, but that's what a publisher is for. Yes. I just sent her yes. the picture and the concept, and honey, this is what the book cover looked yes. like. And I'm yes. like, girl, do that. Yes. She, she, can, she, she, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. What my message is, get somebody who knows what they're doing and whatever it is you're trying to do. Get you some mentors. Get you some professional people to help you get your things going on. And if you don't get on Facebook, I'm finna <laughs> do something with you. All of y'all need to be on Facebook and social media to promote your things. And yes. that's where you get these opportunities. This is how I got to be on Hill Country Network yes. by knowing people. And a a they asked me about interviews and things like that. You yes. got to get on Facebook like yesterday. I, and I, I mean, I, if you don't get I, on there I, again, I, 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 I'm finna I, get you. I, I understand that. I, 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 it's something that I can't get. I, I can't get If away. you don't go at just once a week. See, when I got behind you the first time, you you did good for a few weeks, a few months. You were on there answering people. As soon as you got on there, people were asking you yeah. what? Where can I get your book? Yeah. When can, where can I? I said, see what I'm talking yeah. about? You're right. I, and then I, they sent up that. To get on me yeah. Like that. And the people on there was sending you messages like, I didn't know you had a book. Yeah. I'm like, see what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes. So now you're an inspiration to other people that that's what they have to do. You have eighty percent of it is the marketing of the book, Willie Bob. You want your word out there. You want your message out there. Now you have the product. Now people have to know about it. True, that's true. Most people have boxes and boxes of books, especially self-published authors, sitting under a bed, sitting in a closet. Don't nobody know about it. True. I went to a school. See, I. I I'm, I'm kind of chastising him on air now, so then he'll be embarrassed. I went to Tupelo High School. And of course, I was promoting your book because I was talking about my book, and then I was talking about your book being published about, by the same person. And then, and the lady said, I didn't know he published a book. He lives right down the street from me. And I was like, I came back, then I come back the next week or two and tell you, I was like, this woman said, she didn't even know that you were, uh, uh, had published a book, yes. but th that's what I'm talking about. Yes. It, so. makes, it makes, I mean, you know, I'm old and old school. I am too. I have a flip phone too. <laughs> I don't know how to text, so it's no it's, it's no excuse. Do you can't tell me any excuses because I don't know how to type or, and do nothing. So you can't tell me anything about that. No excuses. No. Just do it. Yeah. Okay. So tell us about Willie Bob Gates. Tell us what. Tell the people what you want us to know about your writing, your writing style, the message, and just where to contact you and where to get this book. Who I am. Is just you know I, I I'm just an ordinary person who is uh, who's been through a, a great deal, but you know I have always been what you consider as a self-motivated person. 
I wanted, you know, I wanted, to, I have always wanted to do the certain thing, but for my uh, being prepared to do it, that was a different thing. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I, went, I quit school, I went back, got my GED, then I knew I had to improve on what I wanted to do, so I went back and I learned how to type. <laughs> Then I turned around, went back, and, and I went back to college, and I had to learn English, and had to learn all the other things all over again. Mm -hmm. So I, I did all that. Mm -hmm. Then I began to dibble and dabble in writing. Mm -hmm. I wrote edit a letter to the editors for years. Mm -hmm. I mean years. Mm -hmm. And I got people to write me back, mm -hmm. and it was strange. People write me back, and I have one woman wrote me, and she was. She, she called me and she was crying. <laughs> said, well, that's one of the best editorials she ever read. And I'm saying to myself, okay, mm -hmm. is that? I said, See, that's I what must, I tell I people. Have, I said, I must be able to do a little something. I'm like right, getting people, call, and people wrote me. You don't have to write a book just to get your works out, to, to just start say, I can't write a book. Start somewhere. You wrote editorials. Yes. You wrote letters to the editor. Yes. You can start by putting a poem in a church bulletin. Mm -hmm. You can start by sending something to a magazine. Mm -hmm. There's no excuse. Start somewhere. You can make your blog on, on the internet, mm -hmm. and people will come and find it. Mm -hmm. So, so I, that's that's basically how I got started. Okay. And and then I you know I have always uh, wanted to write. Mm -hmm. So I just began to just I began to write uh, you know mm -hmm. shorthand. Then I learned how to type and 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 I just went wild with that. But and then when I published my book and started selling it and getting all into it. It kind of put a fire under you to say, because you called me several times talking about, I have this story, I have this story. Yes. And I said, we're going to do it. You're going to do it. Yes. You know, we went around about it, trying to get it done. But hey, it, it ran into the right person to get it published. Well, that's the main thing. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. when, I, when I ran into her. Yes, that was, was the that person was, that was, was supposed that was to publish the book. It was. It was. It her, was. Mm -hmm. Her, with, with, with my family, her, Dealing with you, Sister Harris. Mm -hmm. You have to have you have to a network of people, a network people that kind of mm -hmm. think like you. Yes, do absolutely. In order for you to achieve it, and that's a lesson for children. That's a lesson for teenagers anywhere. You need to go around what you're trying to get to and yes. what you want people who are positive. Yes. You, you Sometimes you have to cut yourself off from things that are negative you and people to. who are negative, so that you can go forward with what you, you want to do. To. And if you don't, you never you never will step out on. On, on faith to actually do it, mm -hmm. and and stepping out on faith and then doing, and then when you do it, sometimes you have to go. Sometimes you ain't talking to the right people; they will kill your dream. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And that's a lot of. I kids tell people that all are, the that time are, that, are, that, are, that are dream. Yes, yes. People are dream killers. Because yes. they listen to the wrong people. Yeah, haters. Haters uh, would kill your dream. Yes. But they talk, and this is what I say all the time. I probably have mentioned it in every interview I've done. They told uh, George Lucas from Star Wars, that's a bunch of mess. That is too wild out there. Ain't nobody going to not look. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Think about the people yes. and the people who rejected the lady who wrote the Harry Potter books. They, she said she got so many rejections after rejections after rejection. Do you know those people are killing themselves, oh just, just oh like kicking God. themselves? <laughs> like, like, please. She said she got so, and she had to hit rock bottom yes. before that was the pl platform of which she uh, started her life. Yes. And don't give up. No. Don't give up your dream. No. Do what you were don't meant to do. So tell the people where you, they can get in contact with you, your phone number and address, so that they can write you to get the book or whatever, because you don't have a website. He ain't halfway on Facebook, <laughs> so uh, he won't answer. So hey, hey. My, my, uh, my phone number is 662-213-9356, uh, mm -hmm. and my address is uh, 119 County Road 892. Uh, Tupelo, Mississippi. Okay, and we're going to put that at the bottom of the screen. Mm. And y'all look for more books. W.B. Gates. I'm saying it right here now. Y'all need to look out for this because it's been more and more and more and there are going to be some big things coming out of Liberations Publishing and W.B. Gates. Thank you so much for being my guest. Thank oh, you for no being problem. my friend. Because oh. <laughs> we have spent so many days, me and your wife, we have been friends for so many years and yes. you do what you do right now. It 
every time I come over to the house, me and the husband, you just laugh at me all the time. <laughs> just laugh, laugh, laugh. <laughs> but thank you all for tuning in for another episode of Meet My Mississippi Authors and Artists. I'm just going to bring these people to you just like I know them, just like we're going to talk on my uh, couch or whatever. Don't miss one episode on the Hill Country Network. Thank you so much. It's inside me, girl, it's in the air. It's who I am through and through. It won't take long till it gets to you. It's everywhere. Mississippi magic is sweet and molasses breeze. God, country, family, that's what it means.